The next guest is a Tony Award winner whose new Broadway show is called Dame Edna. Back with a vengeance. Please welcome Dame Edna. Have a seat. So Thank wonderful you, to see Conan. you. Thank you, Conan. Lovely. And forgive me, forgive me. In contrast to your last adorable little guest, I am not tactile. I'm oh, no, sorry. no, no. I, I sense you're very aware of your personal space. I am, and I'm not even very affectionate. <laughs> I've sought help with this, Conan. Yes, you have, have you? I have. And has it worked, seeking help for this well, kind of thing? Well, it is, but mostly I help other people. No, oh, you do. I do, and it's just so beautiful to be here and just relaxing on this lovely show. Oh, well, that's so nice of you, Dave Thank well, I'm you. I'm a little You're... bit emotional. Too. You are very emotional. I didn't realize. I didn't realize a few things about you. For example, uh, I've of course seen you many times, but in person, your your hair color is stunning. Your hair color is <laughs> well, breathtaking. Very... Is that is that a natural hair it color? It is my natural. Is it really? Preempted what I was about to say in such a lovely way. Oh, oh it yes. It is my natural hair color. Oh wow. I was born with this lovely mauve hair, viewers. I'm the only woman actually on the planet with a purple bikini line. Wow, that's, that's very funny. Funny. <laughs> It is. I'm in the that's Guinness. That's the second image tonight none of us want to remember. But... <laughs> I'm in the Guinness Book of Records, and I love your the color. Thank you've, you. Isn't that nice? You've chosen. Chosen, yeah, I'm afraid so, yeah. <laughs> this was thrust upon me, I'm afraid. But uh, isn't it lovely, my hair? You it is. I like the way it springs. Yes, yes. Sort of. Zoing. It's, huh? it's, it's, it's aspiring. It, aspiring. Thank you. That's a nice way to put it. Well, we have so much to talk about. Uh, first of all, you showed up at the show, and you brought this huge entourage with you. Well, Giant entourage. I don't believe in the show business thing of having a lot of people. I don't have bodyguards at right. all. Right. No one is interested in mugging me. Mm -hmm. But I do travel with a gynecologist. <laughs> and I don't know. Just terrific. This, but I do. And I'll tell you the story. Conan. Okay, good. Tell us about I your will. gynecologist. <laughs> Because I had a spooky feeling this was going to lead into a little anecdote. And okay. it is. Oh, it wow, is. right. I had my own talk show in England some years ago, though I'm an Australian. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it was a seminal and pivotal talk show. And you can get it on DVD. It's wonderful. But <laughs> one of Good my, of you to mention that. I yeah. mentioned it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but only very briefly. Um, yes. I interviewed Julio Iglesias. Have you heard of him? Yes, Julio, the internationally He's renowned adorable. singer. adorable. Yeah. And I said to him, Tell me about your father. Mm -hmm. Now, you never think of asking people necessarily about their parents. No, never do. You ask very astute questions. But I said, Julio, what does your father do? He laughed. He said, no one has ever asked me that question. And he said, my father is a gynecologist in Madrid, Spain. Oh. And I asked about him. I said, is he still practicing? He said, no, but... I said, does he bring his work home? He said, no. He said, <laughs> I said, I'll employ him, and I have. Uh-huh. You've, empl you've employed I Julio Iglesias' his father. He's very old, and frankly, his hand shakes a little bit. Yeah. But ladies, <laughs> that, that is not necessarily a disadvantage. <laughs> it is, but he is... He's a lovely, he's adorable. <laughs> and he's here. He's in the green room now. Oh, is he? Well, I can't wait to he's, talk to him later. He's and... delving, he's delving into your gift box. Oh, that's good. Well, <laughs> then he can have it. Uh, <laughs> I don't want it. You uh, know, viewers, when you come on this lovely show, you yes. go into a little dressing room and yes. there's a gift from you. Yes, there is, yeah. Gift Altoids, basket. Altoids, lovely Altoids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, scented candles. Scented they're candles. Lovely. I'm a romantic man. I like to make the gift. Happy. I'm beginning to feel a bit tactile as a matter of fact. You are touching me. For someone who uh, doesn't like your personal space invaded, you're all over my bones. Uh, <laughs> now, Dame Edna, uh, well, you're quite famous for this. You're, you, when people come and see your show, uh, which, of course, we're going to talk about in a second, but when people come and see your Broadway show, you offer the audience uh, helpful advice. I help them, I counsel, mm -hmm. and I heal. You counsel and you heal. I yes. do a little bit of healing. I don't want people to rushing along. Mm -hmm. I don't want a stampede of wheelchairs at my show, but yeah. you know, this is extraordinary, Conan. I didn't know I was a healer. You can actually, you're saying you can heal people's ailments? Is that Well, it happens. 
I don't deliberately do it. Mm -hmm. But the cleaners of the theatre, the music box theatre, after the show have found things under the seats. What kinds of things? Artificial limbs. Oh, my God. Prosthetic devices, teeth. <laughs> Walkers, it's people must have hobbled along and danced home after the show. So how, are, how are you? How are people cured of having dentures? <laughs> well, they probably this new teeth spring they out. Probably grown teeth. This is incredible. I've I didn't just realize. Seen myself on the monitor, aren't I, gorgeous? You really are. You look fantastic. <laughs> really? We have to. You have to come see us again. I. <laughs> You have so, I have so much I could learn from you. I think I'm looking as Elizabeth Taylor would wish to look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's time. Now, uh, <laughs> Dame Edna, the, the show is back with a vengeance. Dame Edna, back with a vengeance, is at the Music Box Theater. Oh, it's uh, historic. That theater is so beautiful. Wow. It was a joy having you here. I do hope you'll come back soon, will you? I hope so. And I, you know that game she plays? Yes, yes. Cranium. Yes. I love that, don't yes, you? Yes, yes, yes. I've invented a game. Oh, yes? Prostate, of Okay, course. that's not going to happen. Yes. That's terrible. It's wonderful. I'll explain what we do. We'll do that in the commercial break. Dame Edna, everybody. Sarah Bowell coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.